<laughs> my response to BMB on his uh, video he made today, or I don't know if he made it today or the day before, but sounds like to me uh, he don't like people cutting twenty five dollars lawns. But uh, I don't understand why he's worried about other people's pricing. You know, uh, I care less what other people charge for mowing grass. And uh, and I care less about having the best equipment. I mean, you, just because you go out and spend a whole bunch of money, yeah, he's making pretty nice stripes. But I'll tell you what, I'm striping with a pretty good, I ain't got no striper kit. On my Husqvarna I bought for $1,900. It's a 54-inch mower. It's actually a $3,000 mower, but someone bought it and brought it back. And then I had four hours on it, so I talked them down to $1,900. But it's been a couple of years I've been having that mower running. But anyway, I'm back on the video. It made this video about don't be the $25 lawn care guy. But, uh. I've got quite a few, I got a few yards that I do for uh, 25 and $30. I do some for 35 a lot, but they're small yards. I'm not going to go in. I pay, I just do what I think uh, I would pay to have a yard done that size. You know, back before I was a lawn care guy and, uh, if I wanted to have someone mow my yard, you know, what it would be worth to me. So, and as long as I'm making money, I'm, what am I using? Uh, a dollar maybe on gas to do a good job and maybe three dollars at the most of my big riding lawnmower to do a lawn. I don't know. I, it don't take much gas for a uh, 25, 27 horse motor to run for... 15, 20 minutes to mow a yard. But, uh, I'm going to show y'all another weed eater that I bought. I bought this weed eater three years ago when I first started mowing. But, I uh, loaned it. It was still running. My boys got it, though. One of my boys borrowed it from me. So, I went and bought me another one. Right now, I use the, uh, expand it. Uh, just get these at Home Depot and they can get the Walmart brands. You can get these that go on, uh, they'll fit these expanded ones. And, uh, most of your lawn guys on uh, YouTube won't be running this stuff, but, cause they say, oh, it's not commercial, it ain't gonna work, it ain't gonna hold up. But you gotta take care of it a little bit better. If you take care of it, I throw mine around a little. This one here, I've had this pole saw, I've cut a lot of trees with it. And, uh, I just use it today for a few hours. Uh, I had another one, but I think I might have dumped it at the dump. I'm hoping it's at my dad's brush pile. I'm going to go down there and see if I can find it. But I think I pushed it into the brush pile, but I'm thinking I really lost it up in belt, up at the uh, dump up where I live here. But anyway, the weed eater that I really like is this uh it's a toro that you buy at home depot costs about 167 170 dollar i think with tax and everything but uh it's a pretty good uh weed eater i like them the only thing i don't like about it and my brother pointed this out the other day he don't like it he bought a ryobi the same way but the tank don't have nothing underneath it. When you set it on the ground, it's always sitting on the tank. But I've been setting mine on the tank, letting it vibrate on it for three years, and I never wore a hole in it. So most of the time, it's running, it's in my hand. So that's it. I like this Toro uh, 2 cycle weed eater. They're pretty good. Uh, pretty good and what I really like about it I had a steel too I had a 
I don't know what it was. The 55, I think they make them 56 now. They're not the big one, the small still. But it burned twice as much gas as this Toro. This Toro will, uh, it's a good weed eater. And, and it's got the spark plug things covered up good. And it don't shock the hell out of you. When I ran my steel and my Echo, I got my Echo still. I like my Echo. It was a re, it was someone brought it back too. And I bought it for a lot less, about 50 bucks less than a new one. Someone bought it and they brought it back. And I got a re, it was reconditioned. They went through it or whatever. I don't know what they did. Probably nothing. Probably put it back on the shelf. But, and I got a Ryobi over there that I've had for about at least 15 years. And it came with my pole saw. It's a little bit more cc's. It's a 30 cc. But it's been a heck of a machine. I've been running running it pretty hard these last three years since I started uh, my lawn care business. I use it for... Pole. I just put this on here because I know that in there is kind of getting old. I got my blower on it. I got, you can get a, a little tiller. I never had a tiller one, but I'll, I'll tell you the pole saw. And I bought the Ryobi jet fan for a blower. And I got a video on there with it blowing. And uh, that's one reason why some people can do their lawns a little cheaper. Because they're running cheaper equipment. Yeah. $300 for my weed eaters. I don't pay $300 for my uh, weed eaters. You know? I got uh, probably $400 in three of them right here. So, I can run a little bit. I mean, I don't... I'm not out there to rip people off and charge extra, a whole bunch of much money as I can get. I'm just, uh, I guess I'm in a different position maybe than a lot of, than, than, uh, the B&B &B guy. I'm not going to use his name on here. You know, I've reached out to him and tried to have conversation with him or something, but he don't, I don't know what they're saying. I guess, uh, he don't want nothing to do with somebody that's got old equipment and, uh, that's just the way I feel, because I've reached out to him a lot, tried to talk to him, you know, on Messenger and stuff, but only time he ever really acknowledged me was, he'll say something about a comment, but I'm not even sure he's doing it, could be somebody else, and then, uh, when he's doing a live video, he recognized me a little bit when I'd say something, but that's, a, you know, Barely, just barely, and uh, it's just a little bit. This video that he made about pricing, telling people not to be the the uh, twenty five dollar uh, lawn care guy. It just hit me in the wrong, hit me wrong, you know. It felt like uh, it just felt like uh, arrogant. Like he, it just hit me in the wrong way. I don't know. I don't even know what the, I don't have really the words to put together. It, I just watched that video about 10 minutes ago or, or so. And I said, I'm going to make a, a video about that video because I didn't like the way it, that was. So. Hmm. And like the way my my door lock was there. Like somebody's trying to get in here, maybe. I hope not. I got a few things in here. I got some my new Toro. <laughs> but anyway. Charge what you want. Don't listen to people on YouTube telling you what you got to charge and what not to charge and stuff. I go back way back to uh, 
somebody that uh, people forgot about a little bit is the Geek the Freak on his early videos. You know, he was, he uh, didn't care what people, uh, other lawn care companies charged and what, you know, I think he made a video saying if he made, he would just, just be happy. You just want to do uh, out there what you want to do to make yourself happy. You don't want to, you know, as long as you're making money, you don't want to work for free. But once in a while, I do work for free. I run into some people that are, uh, I have some customers that I do do things for free sometimes, but then uh, it's just the way I am. I mean, I got a, uh, What comes around goes around. And uh, I'm not out there to rip everybody off. I'm just, you know, mowing some grass, paying some bills. And uh, enjoying it, really. I just enjoy what I do for a living. So, anyway, it just hit me. I had to make a little video about pricing my pricing what i'll tell you is price whatever you need so you're making a little bit of profit and people are getting a good deal if you give a good deal and you do a good job then you'll be okay anyway we'll talk to y'all later like and subscribe i'll uh, have some more of these videos you want if you want some more talks about lawn care business, make a comment. Talk to you all later.